One of the things that I talk to patients about a lot is because it helps to understand those different options uh, as far as getting rid of those glasses by understanding a little bit how the eye works. Because there's two parts of the eye, two main parts that help focus the outside world onto the back of that. The back of that is the retina. That's like the film of the camera. The first part that helps focus that image from the outside world is the cornea, the front windshield of the eye. So that's what people touch when they put a contact lens in. So that very front part of the eye, that windshield. Now that's where we talk about LASIK or PRK on that front windshield. Basically using a laser to take that strength from their glass or contacts, putting on that surface, resetting them at distance vision. The second part of that eye that helps focus that image is the lens inside the eye, okay? And that lens, think of it like a lens in a camera, except that lens in our eye is about the size and shape of an M&M, like a piece of candy. Now that lens, that M&M, when we are set at distance, let's say we have perfect distance vision, that M&M is what changes shape to go from distance to up close. Over time, unfortunately, as we're blessed at birthdays, that M&M stiffens, can't change shape as well, so it can't pull everything in. So we start holding things out further and further away until we need those reading glasses. So even when we're talking about LASIK or PRK and resetting somebody at distance vision, over time that M&M still stiffens, and so we'll still need reading glasses. So that's one of those places where that LASIK isn't perfect. Also, along with LASIK or PRK, there are options where instead of treating that surface and just resetting you at distance, we actually address that lens inside the eye, since especially for patients where it's already becoming stiff and they're losing that near vision and they want that good distance, there are options to change that lens out inside the eye for new lens that we can place in there that can give them that full range of vision. So it's very similar technology that we use during cataract surgery. Technology has gotten so good, we have that option of using that earlier in life to decrease that dependence on glasses and contacts. I'm Dr. Drew Hunter with Carolina Eye Care Physicians. Thank you for watching and you have a blessed day.